Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you for joining me today. And today we're discussing the Space Court Farts uh, report from March 2016. So let's jump into it. This one's uh, this one's good. <laughs> so here, the concept of lean manufacturing is showing uh, that it is going to occupy a lot of pixels over the next few years as the officialdom at the global level begins to wrestle with the abilities that lean manufacturing pisses into the hands and minds of the populace. Awesome. The data has lean manufacturing, including such technologies as 3D printing, CNC cutting, CNC welding, uh, DIY bio, which I I think is do-it-yourself bio gene splicing and do-it-yourself bio gene crimping. All right, let me just highlight that here. The last one is, the last is one of the forecasts from 2003. Um, new and mostly illicit therapies that will be hitting the markets over the next 30 years. Okay, so it's a 30 year lifespan. Interesting. The gene crimping is defined within the data as a method. Okay, it's a method that allows for the activation. So it's activating something um, of epigenetic patterns. All right, via genetic manipulation. So you're, you're not directly, you're not directly activating the genetic patterns, or the, sorry, the epigenetic patterns, but the but you're using genetic manipulations as a means to activate the epigenetic uh, patterns, okay, via energetic rather than chemical means. So what, in my mind, how I'm interpreting this is gene crimping deals with messing around with somebody's gene with some sort of energetic thing, you know, where because you messed with the genetics, it, the epigenetic pattern, certain epigenetic patterns will emerge because of that. I would. I would um, look into emergence theory as a mechanism by which to explain this. I would also look into uh, uh, Wolfram Alpha's founder who had this giant book of, of uh, like this one specific book of, um, I guess you could call it emergent science and emergent patterns and stuff. Emergence theories would probably explain this better. So I probably need to understand more of that to actually get this. But obviously once this manifests, I'll have a greater understanding because the scientists and the people that are doing all this will have the reasoning and the logic and all that. So, but from what I understand, they're genetic, uh, they're manipulating the genes. So epigenetic patterns can emerge energetically you know, rather than chemically, you know, so that's cool. These tests include linguistic structures for athletes. Oh, okay. Who will be global faces. Okay, so these are like known athletes who will turn epigenetic activation to significantly enhance performance. Oh, so that's what's gonna happen. All right, sports is gonna get super fun. The last report we're talking about like pheromones and wrestling <laughs> and people losing their uh, bowels. <laughs> this is this is another one. It's like this is great. This is some cool stuff. The data sets note that people who are the recipients of these procedures will be called crimps. Ooh, okay, perfect. In the general general parlance, as the language evolved and these new human phenotypes emerged from within the general populace, the data sets are also clear that the transhumanism movement will be dying as the potential for epigenetic controls are manifest. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, let it die. I was never a fan. Actually, I am still a fan of transhumanism in the sense that I read about um, this idea of godhood um, way, 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 way back in like 10 years ago when I was like reading about occultic stuff for fun and not profit. <laughs> so interesting. So yeah, this would be, I guess, the real transhumanism movement using actual epigenetic controls instead of, you know, cyborging yourself. Uh, so, okay. These potentials are quite interesting and include very much enhanced physical and mental capabilities. My thinking again is here that if you can do this, are there genetic patterns that would make you more lucid in life? Could could genetic patterns be, can you manipulate the genes to where, you know, you can give somebody the ability to have uh, lucid dreams at, at will or out of, body out of body experiences at will? These things would be something that I would really, really love to see as these things manifest, as the technology itself manifests. Because that is when you can get super, super into the real, you know, from my perspective and understanding at this current time. Of course, there'll be many accidents and deaths and freak outs as a result of crimping gone bad, but as, a, as with all technology, there is a risk along the way to maturity. The longer term sets indicate that the crimping movement, okay, 
the crimping movement will become a mainstream preoccupation source of fear for many years. Dude, whatever. Everybody's afraid of everything that's new because it challenges the status quo and their understanding. Most people have an understanding of the universe as a stagnant thing, as, a, as an object. I see it as an emergent process that has not been complete and may never complete. But I may be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> but my view is more fun because it, it says to me that there is no end. Only, I guess, new beginnings and new knowledge. Anyways, as, many, uh, as may be expected, the data sets are forecasting that weight loss will be the primary uh, motivator for the least illicit crimp chops. Ah, yeah, guys, good diet is such an easier way to go. Don't go messing around with your genetics just for just for this. You really don't want the accidents, you know, or if you're going to mess around, you should probably wait for it to mature. <laughs> don't be a beta tester with your genes <laughs> because those things may have generational effects, you know. Not that it says it's here, but I'm, I'm making the presumption that it may have generational effects down the line. Um, and then with anti-aging, testosterone rea being a close second. Ah, now that sounds like fun. That's something I want to do. The justice industry is showing justice industry. Okay, that's a fun term. Never thought of justice as an industry, but I guess it is. Um, it's showing in, in space growth entity as reaching a, poten a pivotal point. As technologies, technologies, we have the technologies, start to redefine human capabilities. I don't know what that means, so let's keep reading. In some new and still forming linguistical structures, we have detail sets going to the idea of wireless telepathy. Bruh, I live for that. Dude, I want that, which will be undetectable huh. and apparently will work well enough to have governments in a state of anxiety and shouting panic over spread of open source wireless telepathy technology. Dude, I'd fund this with crypto. I would super fund this. Yes, just yes, okay? Um, the data sets are showing that an instance of the invisible hand of the covert agenda that drives the secrecy world will inevitably become visible as a woman, small, thin, bright, smart, okay, will be visible in a container, okay. The data sets are showing this as a temporal marker. Oh, that's important. Temporal markers are important. So if the event actually takes place, it gives more validity and it gives more... Um, confidence in the probability vector, uh, uh, I guess, collapsing to where more of these events will come into fruition. It's kind of like trading, at least in my mind. Cliff may not see this, uh, see it this way, but in my mind, that's how I understand it at the current level of knowledge that I have. So there's a temporal marker for a number of other sets within the space code's far entity. The instance of in or instance of visibility it's going to be visible is showing as a as coming in real time then vir viral video bro i need to save that video seriously i need to save all the things that are going to be like temporal markers and then just like do do a video of, oh look at all these temporal markers and then you know get famous for that maybe not famous but at least you know it'd be fun to do um this manifestation is described as being of a woman in a case viola slash cello so it's a viola viola slash cello case what okay that's odd who is viewed as she emerges in the background of some official dumb event wait what so it's some event is going to go around some official dumb event and when i whenever they say official dumb or cliff says official dumb, i always think politics so maybe she just like randomly comes out of a cello in a political event who knows or cello case rather she's described as being seen by both the audience present and the audience remote meaning people who see the video later and people who are looking at it from, you know what I mean by remote, but like live stream and stuff. That's what I think. Note that this last has a number of modif modifiers which would seem to su be suggesting that non-humans slash non-terrestrial humans are also in her audience as she emerges from the case and takes the stage. This would be one weird way to make first contact, but okay. The woman in the cello case is indicated to be coincident with a nexus of emotional shifts within the global population. So this affects the entire globe. Uh, these shifts in, uh, include many references to disclosure and UFOs and space aliens. Come on, come on. This needs, 
All right. Here, I'm, I'm going to say it, okay? The woman should be safe and she should be fine. This shouldn't happen to her. No one, no woman should be in a cello case or whatever. But since this is a an event um, that is a temporal marker, let this needs to happen really quickly. And I super hope it happens. Again, health and wealth of the woman is, is obviously important, but I, I hope it happens because I want to see the disclosure and UFOs and the space aliens. You know, even though I want the space aliens to get off my lawn. But that's a whole other issue. The woman in the cello case is not showing as being alien. Oh, rather she is indicated to be human victim. Oh, okay. The data can be inferred to be suggesting that this many, that this many may, okay, the data can be inferred to be suggesting that this many be a manifestation as strange as teleportation or some other extra worldly event as there are many descriptors within the supporting sets all going to a serious level of woo involved in an emergence from the cello case or cello slash viola case. Jesus. The data sets are not providing much further detail about the woman nor what role she may play after emerging from the musical instrument case. But what is quite clear is that the visibility of the event will be coincident with major changes within global population. The data has numerous cross links over to Terra entity as well as markets and global pop entities from the subset involving a woman who will be suffering from her captivity within a cello case. More power to this woman, honestly. Again, it should not have happened to her. This shouldn't, I mean, obviously, you know, treat everyone with respect, but I mean, but I'm I'm really hoping that after this all takes place that she's in a better place, and not to make fun of or anything, but um I mean any place is better than a goddamn cello case. I mean seriously. Anyway, so that's gonna be the woman with the cello case. That's so that's interesting. It's kind of heartbreaking from my point of view because I mean again no one should be in a goddamn cello case or any case. But okay, I'm happy that she she um emerges and frees herself. It's a symbol of how human humanity can free itself from whatever the troubles are, at least in my mind. As model spaces move through June into summer in Northern Hemisphere, the data sets are showing that yet more instances of strange stuff from underground. Oh, read about the fire of the underground, but okay. We'll be making news headlines. Okay, neato. In both propaganda media and alternative outlets, there are many different descriptors for the types of strange stuff from underground. Remember the other report where I was talking about, or rather uh, reading about the underground fire at this underground facility and all that. Okay, so some of this is gonna actually end up like in the propaganda press. They're not gonna deny it, honestly. It's like, ah, oh, it's whatever. But there's gonna be some seriously fun stuff. Um, because it, it goes into the secrets reveal stuff and aliens and whatnot. A few examples include more in-ground noises, groaning, moaning voices. Okay. Only this time they will be heard as clear as clearly voices and a lot of them. Oh, okay. Interesting. Other examples are forecast to include extrusions of crystalline rock in a virtually overnight time frame. So random crystalline rocks are just gonna form out of nowhere? Okay. That I'd pay to see. <laughs> From a safe distance, obviously. These sets are showing multiple instances of this phenomenon continuing to occur over a number of months, perhaps well into future years. In these sets, the details have descriptors for such a, uh, as new rock growths. All right, rocks. They're more interesting than you give credit for. <laughs> In the middle of the road overnight and new rock growths pushing buildings up on one corner and over to its destruction. Jeez, that's gonna be dangerous. The, the road part is gonna be dangerous, obviously, but you know, if it's overnight and no one's driving, uh, you can see it during the day and avoid it, but the, but the building, okay, that's more dangerous. Other sets are forecasting this strange underground phenomena will include tornadoes. Did I just, tornadoes, okay that get struck over underground rifts and eat their way down into the ground. Ay, ay, uh, okay. Other detail sets have new leaks slash, sorry, new lakes slash rivers that will be created as new sources of water come rushing out of the, uh, of the cracks in the earth. 
These last sets are showing as being all over the Northern Hemisphere and many of these new river sources sets, the first appearance of the floods will be a bubbling Artesian wells, okay. That will emerge from cracks slash crevices to be later sources of eruptions and violent spewing gushing torrents. Expando planet model, you should look that up. Cliff High was on this years ago. Expando planet model is probably the best way uh, anyone can describe this as to why it's happening because the planet ex is expanding. Also look up plasma core of, of Earth theory. I quite like both of them. It, it says something natural about the universe in the sense that the, the planet itself grows, everything grows, which is great. But the cycle of the growth of a planet is like much longer, like billions of years, I presume. It may not be. Okay. <clears throat> There are many new sets growing uh, in supporting positions for the sun disease, corona disease, uh, solar health subset. These sets are specifically focused on internal changes externally visible within the solar flow. All right, there's, there's actually YouTube videos where they teach you about like uh, electric weather theory and how solar flow uh, is, is a part of that and how that all works. So you should go look that up. I think it's called Space Time Weather or something, uh, the specific channel, but there are other channels that actually go towards this. So, you know, if you ever wanna learn about like the actual solar system and how it actually works from the plasma slash electrical levels, this would those are the things you wanna look up. I have a very uh, cursory understanding of those because I haven't given those time. I was just, I, I have a cursory understanding of all this, but eventually as it's emerging, I'll, I'll, get, it, and I'll get to it and I'll actually like, read through and I'll figure out how these things actually work. But if you are a little advanced and you want to, that's what you want to look up. You want to look up plasma theory. You want to look up electrical universe theory and that, that'll change your life basically. That'll be like, oh, okay, that's how it actually works. Okay, cool. These sets do have in, uh, internal cross links over to the terminating sets of disease, mental included of humans that is sun change induced. So uh, Cliff came up with the term solo lunius, like, you know, you know, uh, lunatics is for the moon, but sol solar lunius means solar meaning sun, lunius meaning crazy, you know, so this is, I am a, I'm presuming that this is what he means. However, the new growth in the sun disease solar flow subsets, all right. These new aspects slash attribute sets are showing a very high tight relationship a very tight relationship between the solar surface flow, both in direction and volume and climate health here on Earth. So, okay, good to know. There are continuing growth and new patterns for both UFO, lar uh, okay, let me reread this. There are continuing growth and new patterns for both the UFO large set and smaller subsets of USO, underwater, uh, uh, underseas objects um, of unknown nature. These latter are showing as being the preoccupation of the global UFO watching populace. As numerous, as numbers of reported and video recorded USO sightings are forecast as escalating dramatically. So, you know, whoever is down there in the ocean, they're probably coming out. <laughs> it's probably getting hot in there because the, the earth is expanding. So I'm assuming the heat is, is, a, is a bit too much for them or whatever, or they have to come up for something or they're just goofing off and coming up because they can. And now that we have all the cameras and every everybody has a phone with a camera, uh, now people can actually take videos and be like, hey, look, I'm not crazy. There's, there's stuff down there that we're not being told about. Okay, yet more data showing up around CERN and uh, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, and earthquakes. The growth uh, in the Chinese disputes as complaint subsets continues to gain new aspects as attribute sets for the Chinese authorities to publicly demand LHC cease until studies can determine if the machine has been causing massive yet to occur earthquakes in China. Okay, these data sets are still dominated by longer term values that the shift into shorter term is occurring now with the implication being that the events are merely months away. Again, timing is a snitch. These things are probably gonna happen this year or, or the, I, would, I would make the presumption and I'm not cliff high obviously. 
But from my understanding of all of this, I would make the presumption within this decade because when things go wrong, they go wrong in groups, all right? <laughs> when you have a pandemic, you got loc you know, loc uh, locusts invading different countries, you got like bad weather, like things, when it rains, it pours. So I would presume it's going to be pouring this entire decade. <laughs> and so this is probably within this decade, if not this year or next year. So that's that does it for this one. This one was big and awesome and great. Um, this is the March one. Basically, lean manufacturing guys get into that because you know that's gonna be great. Um, also, genetic crimping, DIY, uh, do-it-yourself biological genetic crimping is gonna be used to enhance uh, athletic performances. Um, the transhumanist movement is dying, guys. So don't worry about the transhumanists. Don't focus on them. Just let them die off. Um, and then the potentials of epigenetic controls are going to manifest, which is going to be great. You can use that for a whole bunch of enhanced abilities. And um, I just can't believe I read about like wireless telepathy. That's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling bad for the woman in the cello case, but um, I'm happy that she's going to free herself and it's going to be a global phenomena by the looks of it. And as, as a temporal marker, it's going to validate a lot of the other not validated, but it's going to give more credence and more potential probability and confidence to the other events in this in this uh, event list that we call this amazing report. Um, more UFO and space alien stuff, which is really fun, which is why I bought these things and I read these things. I'm super interested in the aliens. I'm gonna like, I wanna get one of those TR3Bs triangular floaty thingies and just go off and just goof off all day in space. All right, um, what else do we have? All right, we're gonna have like crystalline rocks forming out of nowhere on roads and inside of buildings, which is gonna be dangerous. And then we're gonna have strange underground phenomena, which include tornadoes that get stuck over underground rifts and eat their way down into the ground, which again, okay, scary stuff there. Uh, we, got, we got new rivers that are gonna emerge from the cracks and crevices. And that's gonna be cool because new source of water. Um, and obviously new new rivers to sail in and probably you know new new life is going to go there new fish I mean, not new fish but fish is going to go there it's going to be great i like nature i like when new natural stuff occurs all right um you know solar changes are going to happen the sun the solar health is going to be uh you know interesting to see and then underwater ufos which are underwater submerged objects usos are gonna be coming more into uh, the global view of the UFO watching population. And then obviously China's gonna freak out about, uh, freak out about like uh, the large hydrocondylar and CERN and earthquakes, which they should. Um, there's no way for me to know whether it actually is accurate or not. But since I'm reading it here, I'm gonna give China the benefit of the doubt and say, yeah, it probably does cause earthquakes because you're, you're messing around with high voltage electricity underground and that has, that has side effects, it's just, you know, at least I would presume it does, but I'm not an expert. So, you know, it's an opinion, man. And then that does it for this report. Um, tomorrow we'll touch on the other one after this. So December, January, February, and this is March. So this is the fourth one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.